In a previous video, we discussed what electric charge is. Basically, it's a property that protons and electrons possess because of which they can attract and repel other protons and electrons. We call this the electric force. And of course, today we have discovered so many other particles that also possess this thing called as charge. In this video, we will look at what the symbol and the unit for electric charge is. So the symbol for the electric charge is Q. And we measure it in a unit called Coulombs. Coulombs, denoted by a capital C. So just like how we measure mass in kilograms and we measure height in, say, meters, we measure charge in Coulombs. And the word Coulomb is named after the scientist, the French scientist, Charles Coulomb, who did a lot of work in investigating the force between these charged particles. And to give you a sense of how big a Coulomb is, turns out that the charge on an electron or a proton is a very, very small fraction of a Coulomb. So if you were to look at the charge on an electron, which we usually represent as E, it turns out to be so small, let's see, we write it as point zero, zero, and there are so many zeros, I can't write them all, zero, one, six, and some other numbers, coulombs. And the number of zeros over here are 18. There are 18 zeros in between. Just goes to show you how small the charge on the electron or the proton is. So the electron has this much charge, but it's negative. Proton also has the same value of the charge, but it's positive. So they have the same values, but one has positive charge and the other one has negative charge. And of course, since it is so small, we often like to represent this in the scientific notation. So we will shift this decimal all the way till here. Now we'll write it as 1.6 times 10 to the power. Now let's see how many, how many times we have shifted it. To shift it from here to here, we shift 18 times and then one extra shift 19 shifts to the right, and so we'll write this as negative 19 over here. So, so many coulombs is the charge on an electron or a proton. Now, since coulomb is a brand new unit for us, it would be nice if we could get some sense for how big it is. Just like how we have some sense for what a kilogram is, or how big one meter is, it would be great to have some sense for what or how big a Coulomb would be. So to do that, here's how I like to think about it. Now that we know that the charge on an electron or a proton is such a small number, for electrons it would be negative, for protons it would be positive, we could ask ourselves how many, say, electrons would make up a total of one Coulomb charge. You get it? So it's gonna be a huge number because charge on each electron is so tiny, we need a lot of electrons to make up one Coulomb. But exactly how much is the question? So let's think about this. Let's go down a little bit. And so here's the question. How many electrons together make up a negative one Coulomb worth of charge? So, great idea to pause the video first and see if you can try to do this yourself. Using this information, try to figure this out yourself first. All right, let's do this. So, to do this, we know one electron. So, let's write that down. We know one electron is worth a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulombs. And since it's an electron we're dealing with, it'll be negative. But I want one Coulomb worth of charge, not this. So to make this right-hand side one Coulomb, I will divide the right-hand side. Let's divide the right-hand side by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, so that this will cancel 
and become negative one coulomb. So I will have to divide the left hand side as well by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19. So on the left hand side, we have one divided by 1.6. Let's bring in my calculator and see what that gives me. So it'll be one divided by 1.6. That will be 0.625. So that will be on the left hand side, 0.625. That's one divided by 1.6. And this will become 10 times 10 to the power plus 19, plus 19. And that so many electrons is equivalent to now a charge of negative one coulomb. So to get one coulomb worth of charge, we need so many electrons, so many. And of course, we can also write it in proper notation. It will be 6.25 times 10 to the power 18 electrons. We shifted one zero by borrowing 110. So anyways, these many electrons, such a huge number, 10 to the 18 electrons, these many electrons together make up a charge of negative one coulomb. And so, whenever I ask myself how big is a coulomb, I like to think of it as one coulomb is equivalent to so many electrons. You take so many electrons together, that itself represents what a coulomb is. That's how I like to think about what one coulomb is. So to summarize what we learned in this video is the unit for electric charge is coulombs. We saw what the charge on the electrons and the protons are. And we also saw that one coulomb, how big a coulomb is, it's equivalent to so many electrons or so many protons because the protons and electrons have the same value of charge but one is positive, the other one is negative.